Nephew dents my car, so I get him arrested while he was at work. Should I put him in prison? I, 22 male, am the product of an affair. We're starting off hot today. My dad is about 25 years older than my mom. That's way too much. I felt old when I was hanging out with 18 year olds. Cowabunga. So all three of my siblings from him are more than 17 years older than me. I didn't have a relationship with that side of the family for the majority of my childhood, but my dad and my grandparents often send money, holiday cars, birthday gifts, etc. I'm a lot closer to them now, and I have a good relationship with all my siblings, nieces, and nephews until this happened. Oh, gosh. What happened? I own a 1976 Corvette Stingray. Ooh, flex, baby. Ooh, that was gifted to me by my maternal grandpa when I turned 17. I've built this car up from a roller, and now it's my most prized possession. I went out of town for two weeks for work, and I left my car at my paternal grandparents' garage. I don't like keeping it at my place while I'm away too long because I don't live in the best area and i've done this since my freshman year of college and there's never been any issues until now <sighs> we always have to until now there's it's always, always an until, until now, now. Sam. when i get back in town i immediately went to my grandparents house to pick up my car and there was a giant dent and a lot of paint missing on the side of the car oh no i mean that's, that's pretty and bad paint that's dent like 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 i can understand maybe you dent someone's car you don't even realize it yeah right? but if bump. you dent and scra scratch paint like you that know. causes some noise especially on the old cars like that's not like fiberglass that's metal that's the thing here if this if this was my box with wheels then I, I honestly i dent mine all the time and i literally don't <laughs> care um but this is like a really nice car that he spent his entire life working on yeah you know what it's I mean? kind of rough dude it's like it's like a piece of art it's like yeah. the mona lisa I asked my grandparents what happened. And they're like, I'm hard of hearing, Sonny, and I can barely see. I don't know what happened. <laughs> yeah, Obi said, apparently they were confused. When I showed them, they were as shocked as I was. They told me that my nephew, Kevin, 25 male. Oh, the worst age. <laughs> <laughs> That's how old we are. Everyone, everyone who is a 25 and a male, I mean, they deserve to die. Oh, uh, yeah, for sure. It just is what it is. Well, I mean, essentially, you're one year away from basically being dead meat because you'll have no health insurance. Exactly. They told me that my nephew, Kevin, 25 male, had been messing around in the garage the previous weekend, but they didn't see him take out the car at all. What do you mean messing around in the garage? So we checked their camera system, and sure enough... Kevin had taken the car. Oh, uh, Kevin. Caught red-handed. I tried to call Kevin, but my number was blocked. So I called my brother and told him. Oh, Kevin knows what he did. Kevin knows what he Kevin's did. Kevin's a dumbass. He blocked ass. him. God. Kevin's a dumb <laughs> bro. He said he'll ask him about it and recommended to go to a body shop to get an estimate for the repair. When I got the estimate back, there was $3,700 worth of damages on the car. That's a lot. Wait, what? This story is so insane. I know. I found it on my Reddit recap. What is that? Dude, it's dope. So basically, it shows you your whole year in 2022 on Reddit. Your favorite posts you engaged in early. All your best communities. All kinds of dope stats here. Oh, this is dope. And you know what, Sam? I'm going to up the ante right now. Up it. Everyone go download Reddit. Share your favorite Reddit recap stories. And we're going to read it on the show. Just put it on our subreddit, r slash OKOP show, and we'll select the best ones. Ready to recap, baby! Wait, so what happened next? So I told my brother the estimate, and he said that that estimate was ridiculous and that the damages weren't that bad. What if he has to replace the whole door? And like, where do you find 1976 doors? They don't grow on trees. I love John's like metaphors for things. One of my favorite metaphors for how he explained Hondas is they're like big Lego sets. Yes. You can just take them out and it's really easy to like replace things. I My, my short story is I uh, ran over like a fence peg and uh, literally my entire bumper was was like this. It was just half Skirt. or like this. It was just half pulled off. Someone came out yelling at me like, I'm like, bro, your fence stub is fine. My entire <laughs> bumper is off. So anyways, I got back home. I drove home 20 minutes and the bumper was literally sticking out. Like that's how bent it was. <laughs> yeah. And then I got home and I looked at it and it's just clips. You just bend it. It's plastic. You bend it back and you just clip it in. And it was, and it was fine. I ha literally have done nothing to it since. And have you noticed it? I haven't noticed your car looks fine. I told my brother either he or Kevin had to pay for it to get it fixed or I would call the police on them. I mean, get them officers. I gave him three days. Bro, this guy is like from the Godfather or something. Hey, I'll break your you kneecaps. Three days. You got, I'm going to make you an offer you can't refuse. <laughs> you have 72 hours. I still haven't finished the movie, by the way. I watched, what? I watched half of it Dude, and stopped. Dude, that is <laughs> terrible.
It's I love telling best. that to Sam. It, no, no, but it, it's it's terrible because it's one of the best movies of all time. But I can't talk because I watched half of Rocky and still haven't finished it. See, so the three days passed, Sam, Kevin and his dad, they didn't pay. They didn't pay OP. Yo, they didn't hit his ultimatum. They didn't hit the ultimatum. So he shot him. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so, so he cut off a horse's head yeah. and put it in his bed. <laughs> so I filed the police report uh, and I gave the police the videos of Kevin taking my car. Kevin's <laughs> He is because next Kevin was arrested at his workplace. Yo, crazy, right? To arrest him from a car, from car damage. That's way over the top Yo, for $3,700 of car damage. Come I on. Mean, but I, Come on. I mean, yes, that's over the top. But like, I mean, Kevin, Kevin was, is, is it, you know, Kevin was not dick first, but yes. all right. First of all, Three days, you get like that's that's like like a small amount of time. I understand yeah. that for the ultimatum. Yeah. But like try to get in contact with him like a little bit more. Like show up at like show up at his workplace Give first him and be like, where my money? Yeah. Just with, be like, like a tire Kevin, iron. Twenty four hours, forty eight hours. But you know, give him. Where is it? Yeah. Just like be in his face a little bit yeah. more, and then get the police involved after. Yeah. Wow. This is okay. This is crazy. That's insane. And as you might imagine, my brother was pissed. That I got his own son arrested. Wow. He's calling me going off about how I ruined Kevin's life over a car and just some simple threats. I mean, yeah, I, I mean, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't <laughs> escalation. Did do that. Yeah. My sisters and dad have been calling and texting me, asking me to just put the family first and drop the charges, but I don't want to. Yeah, I want that 3,700 bucks. Am I the a-hole? I think you went too far. Yeah, I, you went too far. Like, I, I, I don't blame you for doing some sort of ultimatum or whatever. Like, maybe, okay, calling the police. But like, if I found out that they were gonna arrest him, I would immediately, A, tell the police, okay, it's not that serious. Yeah. Like. I, I just, you know, want it like legally documented or whatever. Yeah. So it's what it's in the system, I guess. And then I would then immediately call and be like, I filed a police report. I didn't intend for this to happen, but they're trying to arrest you now or whatever. So I would at least and then do what the, the Kevin's on the lamb from the police. <laughs> I would at least, I mean, at least communicate. That's the bare minimum of yeah. what he could do. If that to be fair. He did communicate. He said, if you don't do this, I am going to call the police. But he didn't say he'd get arrested, though. What happens when you call the police, John? I mean, I would not expect. Maybe I'm unfamiliar with, like, the police law. Yeah, John's never been arrested in his life. I haven't been arrested <laughs> in my life. Um, and that yeah, seems right. like a lot to me. Fair, but <laughs> I don't know. Kevin's getting fucked okay, yeah, up. The, the moral of the story, Kevin's He's life is over. Yeah. Um, More of the story, like, yo, don't don't like break people's cars. Don't mess with OP, bro. This guy is not playing around. If you thought that was bad, check out this one where OP's brother steals their car and destroys it. Yikes. 